Hello, this is Shane from Viscount Capital. Today I'm just going to run through a very basic way to calculate volatility of a stock or any other security that you have price, price data for. So what is volatility? Volatility is really just a st statistical measure of the discretion of returns that a stock has. Um, in this example I've taken Thompson Creek Metals Company and taken uh, about a year, just over a year of, uh, of price data. So the first step to take is obviously collect the data from Bloomberg or wherever it is and put it into a spreadsheet like this and then in order to calculate the daily price change it's just a simple log return which you can calculate by doing equal to ln b4 divided by the previous day. So equal to ln current day divided by the previous day's closing price. So we can drag and drop that. Now to calculate the volatility, there's a lot of different ranges of volatility. You can calculate 100 day volatility, 10 day volatility, or 50 day volatility. And just to keep this example quite simple, we're just going to calculate 10 day, 10 day vol. And I'll show you where that comes into uh, relevance um, simply because we can't cal start calculating volatility for this day because we need some historical volatility data in order to calculate it. So to begin with we want to calculate the standard deviation of the past 10 days to start. And then to turn this into volatility we just times this by the square root of 252 to get it an annualized basis because there's 252 trading days in the year and that gives us a annualized volatility based on this 10 day vol, vol of 58% and then we can drag and drop this to the bottom and see how volatility changes and you can graph this data or you can analyze it or do maximum minimal ranges or whatever kind of studies you want but this is the very basics to calculating volatility you can change the ranges you can keep it so that you just take a standard deviation of the actual days you don't have to analyze it um, but either way this is probably the first step in measuring the riskiness of the asset that you are studying so good luck with your uh, modeling on volatility there's a lot of extensions you can do um, but like I said, this is probably a template from which to start off. Thanks.